Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be looking at a concept which is known as the stabilizer of some point within a group. So let's move forward and see the definition here. For the stabilizer of a point, we have to consider some group G which is the group of permutations, right? Now this group of permutations, suppose we have some set S. It has elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Now for on these 5 elements, we can create a group G which consists of different functions. So we have the identity function, we have phi1, we have phi2, we have phi3 and so, so on. So these phi1, phi2, phi3, they are the permutations which are gen nothing but the mappings of all these elements to themselves, right? So now we have this group under the operation of composition with us. Now for each element here present within this S, we are defining the stabilizer of each point. Now what is a stabilizer? Stabilizer is something which keep it fixed, right? Which do not let it become unstable. So linking that concept here, we would say for each I which is present in S, we have the stabilizer. Now this notation is used in order to denote that it is the stabilizer of the element I which is present within this group G, right? So the stabilizer of I in G is, it is represented and it contains all those permutations which are member of this G, right? We are taking the permutations. Now all such permutations which are keeping this element as fixed. So they do not affect this element. So obviously one thing would come to your mind that uh, one member is fixed for stabilizer. You know, for stabilizer of some element, we have surely the identity permutation. Why? Because the identity permutation keeps all the element as fixed. So obviously it will keep I also as fixed. So this would surely we come and we would see what all permutations are there which also keep this element as fixed. So all uh, the set of all such stabilizers, um, all such permutations that form the stabilizer of the group, uh, of the element I in the group G, right? And moreover, you should note that this stabilizer, this is a subgroup of G. It contains all the permutations and moreover, they form, it form a subgroup. You can check this. Next, in order to understand what is a stabilizer more clearly, let's uh, see some examples here. For the first example, I am considering S8, right? This is a symmetry group which is uh, made from the first eight natural numbers. So that means we are taking in the set uh, the elements as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the group of permutations that we are taking here based on these eight elements is the one that I've listed here. So here the digit one, it represents the identity permutation. Why? Because here one is mapping to one and they have not uh, written any other element. So that means two maps to two here, three maps to three, four maps to four, five maps to five, six maps to six, seven maps to seven and eight maps to eight. So this is basically the identity permutation. Okay. So first one is identity permutation. Next one is the composition of Two, uh, 3 cycle and 2 cycle, 2, 3 cycles and 1, 2 cycle. Then we have composition of product of 2, 3 cycles. Then we have product of 2, 3 cycles. Then we have product of 2, 3 cycles and 1, 2 cycle. And then we have lastly, uh, the last permutation as a transposition. So this is our defined group. For this group, we need to calculate all the, is the stabilizer of each of the point in S. So in total we have eight points. So we need to calculate the stabilizer of each of these eight points. Now this is very easy. For the definition, we need to select those permutations which are keeping that element as fixed. So our answer would be a permutation. Okay, so what would be the stabilizer of one? So you see here in this permutation, one is mapping to one. So it is keeping one as fixed. So basically this is the identity permutation. So it will definitely come here. Next here, one moves to three. So it is not keeping it as fixed. So we will not take this again. One goes to three. So it is also not keeping it as fixed here. Also one goes to two. It is not keeping it as fixed. 
here one goes to two here it is also not keeping it as fixed the uh, permutation 7 8 now you can you know for uh, the uh, the transposition 7 8 could be expressed like this we, uh, even if i add the one cycles 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, 6 to it it would have the same meaning as this because in this case 7 is mapping to 8 and 8 is mapping to 7 and the element 1 is mapping to itself 2 is mapping to itself 3 is mapping to itself 4 is mapping to itself 5 is mapping to itself and 6 is also mapping to itself so here in this case you see 1 is mapping to itself so therefore this permutation 7 8 would come under this category right so as we have calculated the stabilizer for the element 1, we can do so for each of these remaining elements. So let's quickly have a look here. For the element 2, we need to select the permutations which are keeping 2 as fixed. So this would definitely be there because it is the identity permutation. Then this will not because it is taking 2 to 1. It, it would again be, be not it because it is again taking 2 to 1. Here 2 is moving to 3, so it is also not there. Here 2 is also moving to 3, it is not there. Again, it would be there by the similar uh, argument that I have given you. Okay, after 2, let's see. So for the answer 2, we have this. Now you can check for the elements 2, 3, uh, sorry, 3, 4, 5 and 6, we also have the same permutations because uh, you may check your answer doing uh, because the procedure of doing it uh, and calculating the stabilizer is the same and uh, we have the same argument and reason for uh, the stabilizers of the element 3, 4, 5 and 6. What about the element 7? Now let's move on to the element 7. We wanted to check for what all permutations are keeping the element 7 as 7 only right so they are keeping 7 as fixed so obviously one would be the identity permutation so identity permutation would definitely come now here 7 goes to 8 so it is not keeping it fixed so this permutation is not there here 7 is not there so we can write this permutation here as 1 3 2 4 6 5 7 is not there so we can write it as one cycle and 8 is not there we can write it as one cycle now you see 7 goes to 7 here in this case so therefore we will select this permutation so it will come under our stabilizer similarly here also there is no 7 so we can write 7 here and 8 here so you see 7 goes to 7 here so we can select this permutation so we have selected this permutation next in this case 7 most goes to 8 so we will reject it here also 7 goes to 8 we will reject it so we have three elements present in the stabilizer of the element 7 within the group g by the similar argument you can see that the stabilizer of 8 is the same because here again in this case we have uh, the element this this would definitely come being the identity permutation here 8 goes to 7 so we will not take it here there is no uh, 8 so therefore we will select is here there is no 8 we will select it here 8 goes to 7 we will reject it here 8 goes to 7 we will reject it so we again have the same three permutations by the same reasoning so this gives us the stabilizer of each of the element present within this permutation group right